Board members, we're back. If you missed it, we're doing a speed run. Thunderstone quest scenario number two from the mirror in the dark quest. This is one door opens. I had already done the scenario number one, trying to run it with two different player decks, and it got kind of crazy, convoluted, keeping track of who had what, and it seemed one deck started to get favored more than the other. But today, we're going to do something a little bit different, where I set a timer for 40 minutes, trying to run through scenario number two, one door opens. Let's get down to the table and check this mission out. Renard's moonlight spell better do what it claims, or we're stuck, little Scavian bemoaned. But as she reads the incantations of the scroll, the door begins gleaming intensely, splitting open before you, revealing the darkness beyond. It's immediately obvious that you've reached a part of Kergoth that hasn't seen visitors in a very long time. As if this couldn't get any better, Corlander mutters under his breath as he moves forward, holding his burning torch aloft to spread light across a large central room lined with six doors in addition to the entry. Dwarven architecture, still impressive in its own right, is obscured by silvery cobwebs stretched across every wall and opening, covered with the dust of ages. You follow behind him, leading the rest of the party into the room as well. Silverhelm, you say, can you make out anything in here? The dwarf paces slowly around the room, taking time at each door to examine the etched rooms. He stops at one, moving in close and squinting to see better. Well, champion, it's old, and the dialect is different from what I'm used to. But there's some reason to it. He turns back to face you once more. It's like a library. The runes help point in the direction of what you're looking for. But without a record, we're just guessing at the right door. You sigh. Fair enough. Let's start with the first door then. Foxwood moves to the door confidently and brushes away some of the dust with her hand. She then places her ear to it and knocks a few times, listening to the sound. She smiles and withdraws flips her hand down to a small latch and pulls gently as the door swings open before you. The passage is just as dark as you've encountered, and lined with even more of the cobwebs that cover the central room. As you all peer into the black, faint clicking and rattling noises can be heard in the distance, separated by periods of unnerving silence. After a few moments, Oxwood makes a motion with her hand toward the passage and looks to you with a smirk. After you, champion. So we've got Silverhelm, the cleric fighter, Gorlander, the human fighter, Oxward, the avian elf rogue, and Scavian, the halfling rogue wizard. Uh, Silverhelm's a dwarf cleric fighter hero, by the way. That's who we have in this mission. We're gonna set up this timer, see if we can make it to the end, defeating Smorga the queen here before the 40 minutes is up. Get our, get our figure on the board. Start here at the guild's order, I guess, for now. Shuffle the deck. Now we got to keep one card that was part of the campaign. We got to keep one extra card from yesterday's mission. And that was, uh, I chose to keep one short sword which this mission doesn't have short swords in the offering, so that's good. I'll have a short sword that the other, um, the other mission let us buy, but I get to keep it now throughout the campaign. We'll see how that works. Drawn my six cards, ready to take the first turn. The first thing you have to do is decide whether you are going to do a dungeon phase or a village phase. Looking at my hand, starting the timer. Here we go. Looks like it's going to be a dungeon phase. I've got one, two, three adventurers. Equip one with a dagger. If one of them is equipped, if I'm wielded by a level zero hero, I get to draw one card. Uh, I've got a lantern and a th another lantern. The light does me no good because I'm not going very far into the dungeon. I have a thunderstone shard. So none of those help me, but I'm going to go into the dungeon to, defi to defeat the giant rat. Giant rat's ability is that I may level up a zero hero for uh, ignoring the thunderstorm or the experience cost. I think I want to put I want to put Hawkswood in my deck this game. So level one elf rogue leveling up this hero. 
defeated the rats. Uh, put Hawkswood in my deck. Leveled up one of my heroes. That's the only reward for that uh, section. So discard my cards. And draw six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see here. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Hmm. I think I'm going to just take another dungeon turn. Quick, get another hero leveled up. Um, I've got another adventurer with a dagger. There's two more adventurers. Thunderstone. Doesn't help me because I'm not injured. I do have a short sword, but nobody I can give it to yet. But I do draw a card for the dagger. I'm going to shuffle my deck to see what I get. And maybe, maybe I'll dive a little deeper into the dungeon and see if I can defeat that kobold grunt right here. A one card. That's another lantern. Okay, so I only have, again, four strength to defeat the giant rats. So I'll do that again, leveling up the hero. I will take a Silver Helm, Cleric. And then discard these cards. And draw six more. Okay, one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a village turn. The bazaar. Um, let's see the bazaar. There, it's where you can buy those tokens. I generate six gold. But what's nice about the lantern is after I complete my village phase, I may take a dungeon phase. So I'm going to buy. Lantern for three, and then for two, a short bow. And then I may, after I complete a village phase, I may take a dungeon phase. If I do, I can't go past the rats. Well, not going past the rats anyway. I'm going to play Hawkswood and my two adventurers, equip an adventurer with a dagger so I get to draw another card. And it's Silverhelm. So I have one, two, three, four, five. This is enough to defeat the giant rat, leveling up an adventurer. Um, I think I'm going to take a Gorlander, the fighter. See how that goes. Okay. Turn one, two, three, four, five, six cards. One. Wow. I drew one, two, three. Looks like it's going to be a village only phase. Didn't draw enough strength. Well, I did draw enough strength, but they don't have the skill to equip it all. So. Going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six to spend. Aha! I'm going to the temple. Temple says immediately place one card in your hand on top of your deck. I'm going to put short bow that I drew on top of my deck. One. Well, if, well, the first thing you do is is count your gold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then immediately place one or more. These guys have no gold. Uh, one or more cards in your hand back on top of your deck. So, bow. Maybe I don't get the gold for that. I don't need it. Four gold. Um, lets me buy a lot of cards anyway. I think I'm going to go with a Warhammer. Cost three. And that will be my village phase. 
drawing six cards. Two. Gotta shuffle up. Time is ticking. That smorg of the queen. Not looking too nice. Got my six cards. Two. Okay. Well, I'm going to risk the dungeon. Here's what I mean by that. Play the adventurer, equip with a dagger, which will allow me to draw a card. Play another adventurer, equip that adventurer with a dagger, lets me draw a card. Hawkswood, who is uh, a three skilled rogue. This bow has four skill, but it's minus one skill for rogues, so she can wear it. And it's plus one attack for elves, so it's a three, four, five, six, seven, eight attack. That's an eight attack with um, one light, two light. I have enough light to even go down farther. These have, if I, if I move through these, they have alerts. If I move through his room, I have to destroy one random gear token, which would be my lantern. If I move through this room, discard one card. I could discard the Thunderstone Shard and defeat the Trapdoor Spider. Yeah, and I would get a treasure too right away. And 3 XP. Let's do that. So, dungeon phase. I'm going to go here to here. When I move through this room, I have to discard a card. So I'll discard the Thunderstone Shard. Does me no good. Then, unless I have a rogue, discard one gear token bef after moving in this room. I do have a rogue. It's Hawkswood. So luckily there. Good. I, again, have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strength against the spider's two, or six, so it beats it by two. So I gain one festering wound. Give this card's boost to the monster you battle this turn. Okay. It's Festering Wound that goes into my... I guess it goes into my deck. Yuck. And... Two XP for that monster. One XP for the room. And one wound for me. Oh. And it had a treasure card symbol, so I draw a treasure card. Where I have those shuffled. Treasure cash. When I dis when I draw this card, destroy it to gain three XP. Okay. I gain three more XP, which is nice. I can level up two heroes now. And then refill the room. It is a another spider in one festering wound for each of your treasure cards. Uh oh, I got to keep track of how many treasure cards. I don't like these spiders and their festering wounds. I, I should probably level up more clerics. Okay, discard these. I don't know. If Forty minutes was enough time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go, adventurers. Hmm. Do I have enough? Don't have enough light to go to delve deeper. I don't have. Bummer. Three, four, five. Don't have enough to kill the grunt. Okay, it's got to be a village phase. So we're going to village phase, guild's quarter. Get to buy cards. Turn. Thunderstone. Oh, when I play the Thunderstone, I get to draw a card because I have a wound. I should have stayed in the... Oh, well, that's okay. I've got a Cleric. Cleric and the Warrior, or the Fighter, that I'm going to level up this turn. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six gold to spend. Uh, well, that mall is nice. It cost eight, though. 
But for now, let us take another. Short bow. Well, that amulet's kind of nice, giving people skill to wield better weapons. Uh, well, let's take take the short bow, and then now I can level up two heroes. A three XP. To level up the fighter. Level one. To level two. And pay three XP because we get to do it a second time because we're in the guild's quarter. Three XP to level up the cleric. To level two. Okay, that is all I could do there. So discarding all that, got to shuffle my discard pile. Got kind of a beefy deck going now. Phase spider here is nasty. You have to destroy each wielded weapon and then gain one festering wound per destroyed weapon. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. I drew. Huh. I drew no heroes. I mean, I drew one hero. Um, okay. Going to take another village phase, I guess. Thunderstone lets me draw a card. I've got two, four, six, seven again. Seven to spend. Uh, I think I'm just going to buy another. Hmm. I shouldn't buy another cleric to heal these wounds. Seven, five. Cost more than that. You can bread tokens too to help level, but oh, I'll heal a wound being in a village turn. I got that last turn. So I bought Silver Helm Hero, and that's all I can really do. So with that, draw six cards one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this should be a dungeon phase. Um, okay, let's try it. Dungeon phase. Got Hawkswood. Uh, got a Festering Wound. Got a Thunderstone where I draw a card if I have one or more wounds. Well, Festering Wound is a wound. Got an adventurer. Dagger. Draw a card for having that dagger. On a level zero adventurer. Got Gorlander the fighter. He's the level two fighter. You uh, buy one weapon at the end of the dungeon phase as his spoil of it ability and put it on top of your deck. Okay, and then he's going to equip a short sword. I have a lantern. So I have a total of one, two, three, seven, eight. Eight to fight with. If I shouldn't just. Yeah, I'm going to go here and then use one light to go here. I'm going to discard a card. Go ahead and discard the lantern. We're leaving here. And then this is, I have to, oh, I have eight. One, two, three, four, three, seven, eight. Oh, he's going to be nine. He's going to get the festering wound. I can't go there. We go here. Oh, 
or I can go two XP. Okay, let's go here. I have way more than enough to defeat this little kobold. I get two XP and this bread token and a lantern token. Place that. And it's a new kobold. Kobold hero. I get the two XP for that fight. I could buy a weapon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I just wish I had eight. That mall. But I don't want to buy another weapon. I'm going to draw two. Shuffle. I'd have to kick this up to 45 minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll let the 40 minutes run and see where I get. Two, four. Okay, I'm going to do another dungeon phase. Because I've got Adventurer, Dagger. Draw a card. Got an Adventurer. Dagger. A card. And then I have Silver Helm. I'm going to equip the hammer. And I have Silver Helm and a lantern. Nice. That helps me go here. Unless I have a rogue discard one gear token after moving this room. Um, okay, I'll discard a food token. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to defeat the demon spider. We get three XP, two wounds, yuck. Gonna be a bummer. I only draw five cards at the end of this round because of those wounds. Uh, three XP from the spider, an extra from the room. One, two, three, four. And then treasure card. You draw this, destroy it to gain three. Oh, and I have to take a festering wound for my one treasure card. Hope to get those healed with my cleric soon. Okay. Place that with. On a purple key, our first of four keys. All right, sword spider. That won't be too bad on me, I don't think. Discard all this. You start getting rid of my daggers and getting these better weapons. Six, seven, nine. Hmm. Do you have? Do you have the ability to draw more? Oh, I have my money. Finally, okay. Or if I should go fight this kobold hero treasure card. Okay, let's. This is a real gamble. It's a real gamble, but let's do it. I do have the money for a hammer, but I drew the guy that lets me buy a hammer. So we're going to take a dungeon phase. Well, I'm not going to move there yet. I'll play all my cards first. So four, five, six, seven. Just need one more to defeat this kobold hero because he has two resistance. Play my Thunderstone, which says, if I have one or more wounds, draw a card. Oh. Shoot. Failed. Unless, no, oh, no, I didn't. Plus, giving this Thunderstone to this adventurer gives them plus two skill. 
to wield his bow. Ooh, that was close. Do a short sword that doesn't help me. A lantern that doesn't help me. Well, I mean, it would help me, but okay. I'm going to move to this room. And this kobold is a six plus two, it's eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I almost forgot about that. Whew. But alas, we're good. I uh, get to defeat that. Three XP. I put two back and get five. Um, take two more wounds. And then a treasure card. Boots of Speed. After I complete my village phase, I may take a dungeon phase. Cool. Goes into my deck. Destroying this. Oh, where are the keys? Kobold Warrior. Other kobolds in the dungeon have plus one resistance. Uh, melee resistance. Okay, or physical resistance. Spoils for Gorlander says, buy one weapon. I may put it on top of my deck. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I have nine gold. You bet, I'm buying that mall. Mm-hmm, put it on top of my deck. I, however, only draw four cards because I'm so wounded for this turn. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. Here's what I gotta do. Gotta go to the temple and immediately place a card on my hand, a card in my hand on top of my deck. It's gonna be the mall. Put that back. Got these cards here: festering wound, hawkswood, and a thunderstone. Thunderstone shard says if I have one or more wounds, draw a card. So I get to draw one more card. It was Silverhelm. Okay. I'm in the temple. I may not level up heroes this turn, but what I get to do, heal two wounds. So I'm going to heal this festering wound and a regular wound. Um, I have three gold to spend on a card. I want a hammer. I'm not going wizard. Uh, I think I'm good. I'm not buying any cards. So going into my next turn. Quick turn because I just needed to heal up in the temple. Now I get five cards. Two, three, four, five. You bet that War Mall is going to be great once I can finally equip it. I am staying in the temple because I am so hurt. Uh, it says, okay, so generate gold 2467. Got a Thunderstone, so I get to draw another card. Oh, bummer. I could level up these two heroes, but I need to stay in the temple. Put my Maul back on top of my deck. I have seven to spend. I'm going to buy another Gorlander. Seven. Healing two wounds off of my player board. That's it. Now I draw my full six, and hopefully I can make use of that new mall. Wow. I am, I've got not enough heroes. <laughs> so what do I need to do? Red token gives them plus two skill, two, three. I don't have anything that lets me draw cards. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Another village phase. Guild's quarter, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. I'm going to level up a hero. Okay. Put a card on top of my deck. All. I have two, four, six, seven. 
to spend. I'm going to get a Hawkswood. I'm going to level up Zero Adventurer. Um, a level one hero for two XP. Uh, it's going to be a another cleric, and then the boots of speed say I can take a dungeon phase, but I can't because I don't have any heroes. Still one wound for a village turn, and that's it. Wow, time is just passing me by like I'm standing still. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm fully healed. I'm ready to take on this dungeon. Nice, 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 nice. Dungeon phase it is. And you will see why I'm so excited. Got Gorlander. He's four. He can equip this Maul of Maulness. That's eight. I got a Festering Wound. And I also have Silverhelm the Cleric. I can give another hero plus two skill, and I heal one wound. I'm going to heal this Festering Wound. I equip him with a couple of daggers. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This guy's nine, so I'm going to move through here. Here, I'm going to use one light token to, to cast light into this room. Um, actually, oh, and I have to discard. I might go for this guy. Yep. Nope, I don't have the light. Yes. Cleric provides no light. Drat. Okay, we're going to go for this right here. It is going to be, I'm 11, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, versus their 9. Um, if I defeat them, I take two wounds. And I get five, six XP, which is a lot. I need to level up some of these level one and twos to the threes. Red token is used to gain skill if I need a lower level hero to hoist a bigger weapon. And that's it. Defeating the Sword Spider. He would have done more damage to me if I had a spell, but I did not. Trapdoor Spider. When this card enters a dungeon room, each player in that room gains one Festering Wound. Well, darn it. One Festering Wound goes into my discard pile. Now the Spoils lets me buy a weapon. I'm going to buy this Warhammer. And the Dagger says when I buy a... Card, I may destroy one dagger. So I'm going to thin my deck out and get rid of that dagger. Okay. Next turn, I can only draw five because of the two wounds I have. But I'm really thinking about if I get enough heroes, I'm going to go back to the village real quick and level up two of them. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, heroes. Who we got? Good. Got the heroes. Village phase, no question. Oh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. I'm going to stay here. I got to find these keys, so. Tough decision. I'm on a clock. Don't forget the clock. Village phase. Got two, three, four, five, six to spend. Six to spend. Buy another cleric. Six. Now let's level some people up. It costs three to level up from one to two. So I'm going to pay six to level up both Hawkswood and Silverhelm. 
for level two. For helm. Oxwood. Heal one wound for being in the village. That's that. Go back to six cards. And two. Okay. We're going to stay in the village. I have one or more one or more wounds draw a card, and I do. I have one or more wounds draw a card, and I do. It's two, four, five, six to spend. And then I've got a myriad of heroes that I could upgrade. So I'm going to level up. Um, level is Gorlander first. From level one to two, that costs three. So five and two back. And I'm going to spend those two to level up a zero. So Gorlander, level two fighter. Okay. And then I want another cleric. Um, yes, they seem, yes, another cleric. Yep, let's just do it, cleric. So that's it. Heal one wound for being in the village. Back to full health. Six minutes to go, yikes. I finally have a dungeon turn, please. No. Well, maybe. A festering wound. Silverhelm. It's going to be a village turn, fortunately. Silverhelm. Me heal a wound. Um, none of these things let me draw a card, though. Two, four, six, seven. So we will do Gorlander. That's that. Let's turn. One, two, three. Shuffle this up. Hopefully get some heroes with some weapons. And go bash some face in this dungeon. Why not loud? Three, four, five, six. Yes, it is face bashing time in the dungeon. Dungeon phase. Oxwood with the bow. Silver helm. Orlander. Small. And silver helm with the dagger. I have one light. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus eight is fourteen. I really wish I had some more light, um, but I don't. So we're gonna go here, moving through there to here, with one light that I have on my rogue. I don't have to spend my light token. Fourteen to the six is no problem at all. Defeating it gets me 3 XP total. A treasure card. Um, so let's, let's get all that. So one regular wound. One festering wound. 3, 4 XP. Oh no, 3 XP. It's 2 from the card and 1 from the room. And a treasure. Wandering here. Healer. That's nice. Ourselves a wandering healer.
Stoked about that. And a phase spider. This is the one that destroys weapons when we fight him uh, after the battle. That could be bad. Oh, I could have bought a weapon, but I'm not. Hmm? Get rid of the dagger if I do. One, two, three, four, five. I had five. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get rid of the dagger. I had five gold to spend on a weapon. Put it on the bow. Okay, draw six. Three, four, five, six. Next turn. Okay, we've got the light. I think we can get go destroy this thing now. Oxwood. Silverhelm. Heal one wound. I'll heal this wound. Orlander. Regular adventurer. Actually, I won't play Silverhelm yet. I will play the Thunderstone Shard first to draw a card if I have a wound. Then play Silverhelm to heal that wound. See, order is everything. Another Silverhelm. Play the Warhammer. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is just enough to defeat this. Oh, I had to discard a token there. I'll discard a food token. When I entered this room, I didn't have... Oh, wait. I had a rogue. I don't need to discard that. I had Hawkswood and her trusty bow. This has eight and two magic resistance. I'm not fighting it with magic, so I overcome that. Um, either way, I overcome it. I have ten. It's going to deal me... Uh, oh, before battle, discard one card for each of your wounds. Oh, I had none. Ha ha. Take that, semi the cleric. Uh, I get five XP, which is huge. And then I get three wounds, yuck. And a treasure card. When I draw this, destroy it to gain three. Three more XP. I'll take five and put back two because I have a lot. That looks like going to do it. Oh, I get another treasure card for being in this room. When I draw this, destroy it to gain two um, experience and a bread token. Wow. Timer. Doing me dirty. And it says I have to bump. This hero back here. When I had to spend my last light token to get into that room. Game time. Well, I started making some progress. So let's see how much longer this takes to, uh, to finish this thing. So that was 40 minutes. Let's throw up another 40 and hope for the best. All right, here we go. I'm going to stay where I am. Thunderstone, draw one or more cards. Lantern. Orlander. Silverhelm. Silverhelm, that's four, five, six, seven. I drew a short sword, but I'm not going to equip it because I want to destroy this thing. It says destroy each wielded weapon, gaining one festering wound. I'm not going to wield a weapon. I'm just going to destroy him without it. I take one wound for this and five XP and a health potion. And destroying the phase spider reveals a sword spider. And where's the other key? I should probably just go up and start punching these things. Uh, it's, oh, I can buy a, I can buy a weapon. I don't know that I want to buy a weapon. Oh, two, four, five. Nah. Do not want a weapon. If I only draw four cards. I'm pretty hurt. One, two, three, four. It's going to be a village phase. So I'm going to go to the temple. Um...
I will put the hammer back on top of my deck and have six to spend. Um, uh, yes, 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 temple. So I can heal two wounds. Six to spend. Don't see it. I'm not spending it. Drawing five cards. Now I have an actual deck. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not going to go to the temple this time. I'm going to go to the guild's quarter. Thunderstone, if I have one or more wounds, draw a card. Gives me two, three, four, five to spend. What I really want to do, level up two heroes. So from two to three costs. Why I can't keep this matrix right for leveling up heroes. Printed level plus two. Zero to one costs two. One to two costs three. Two to three costs four. Okay, two to three costs four. I'm going to upgrade Gorlander here to a level three fighter. He's amazing. If wielding a weapon, put him on top of your deck so I keep getting him back. And then that costs uh, four. Five, get one change. Leveling up Silverhelm. Uh, zero to one costs two. One to two costs three. Level two. More Gorlanders. And that is, oh, I heal one for being in the village. That's the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm staying in the village, and I'm staying in the guild's quarter. Two, four to spend. Got a couple of Gorlanders. Level one and a level two. Silverhelm Cleric. But I need more Gorlanders. So I'm going to level up level uh, one to level two. Plus two, two. Three. There's three. Make him a level two Gorlander. And this one. I'm going to spend 4 XP to make the level 2 a level 3. 5, get 1 change. Now, got some, I've got 4 gold I could spend on a card, but I'm good. I have enough weapons. Got some powerful people. I heal my last wound for being in the village that turn, and probably going to the dungeon. Oxwood has three, four, five, seven. Yes. Yes, let's go to the dungeon. Let's find ourselves a key. Oxwood. Thunderstone does nothing because I'm not wounded anymore. This has three skill because it's on an elf. Um, Silverhelm, I give another hero two more skill, I'll give it to, oh, Thunderstone does do something, it gives her two more skill. Her five skill, six, seven skill, another bow, and Lantern. Now, it's weird, but you can equip two weapons, um, so she's equipping two bows for each three. 
but we're going to go fight. I'm going to fight here. I just don't want to deal with this phase spider. Destroy each wielded weapon. Well, I did that before. Okay, either way. I'm going to go here. Kobold warrior. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight defeats this kobold warrior. I take a wound. Two XP. A treasure and a food token. Treasure is an enduring hammer. When this card or the wielding hero would be destroyed, cancel the destruction. Nice. That treasure card. And on the green key, two out of four keys. No more keys in the top level of the dungeon. So that's nice. Um, discard all these. Draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Two, three, four, five. Seven, nine, yuck, 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 yuck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That okay. Let's discard one weapon. Oh no 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 no! Can't discard a weapon. So let's do a village phase. Guild quarter. Two. Three. Festering wound. Wandering healer. Heal one wound to gain one mystic power. Arcane power. I only have three to spend, but I'm going to be upgrading heroes here. Oxwood, I'm going from level two to Three for four. SP. Oxwood. Then I'm going to spend um, level one to two cost three. Three and a five and get two back. Get a level two silver helm. There is a number level two. There is. Okay. Care of that turn. Heal one wound for being in the village. One card. I get to go back to my six cards. Two keys. I need two more, which means I need to get down to the bottom here and start fighting these big bad monsters. Uh, the other thing you can do, if I was to keep fighting these monsters and this deck runs out, then it fills from this deck. And so I could find keys that way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Level three Gorlanders left? No. Because I got the boots. Two, four, six, seven. Okay. Okay, yep. We're going to do a village phase. Um, boots. Give me two gold. And let me take a dungeon after this. Two, four, six, seven gold to spend. And then I have <clears throat> Orlander Silver Helm here. The Silver Helm, I'm going to give him plus two strength to him. Put them all to him. He's a 10 by himself, that's 12. Um, 
So if I'm doing a village phase, I'm going to go to the bazaar. I have two, four, six, seven to spend. I'm buying a lantern. And I'm going to level up Silver Helm from level two to three for four XP. Four XP, and then that takes care of my village phase. Remember, he's ten. I have his ten, so he's going to go right into here and just defeat this for three more XP. To start, oh. and nine. Nope. Oh, he'd have to discard the weapon if I didn't. Yep, killing him. Three XP. And a bread token. Brings out the shaman. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Your token. We could go thrash that sword spider, and I think we will. Got the big, got the big bad Igor Lander. He's going to wield the hammer. Got the adventurer, two skill. Going to eat. Red, two, four, six, give him six kill. Six, eight, giving them eight skill. They can wield both of these weapons, allowing them to draw a card. Gives me some lantern light, which I need. So I'm eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here I have to discard. Um, There's a random gear token. I don't know how to do that. Okay, it came out bread. Shake them all up and drop one. So it's one light to get into here, and then it's two addition or two more light to get into here. So I'll pay a lantern token, and I have a lantern card. So I had a total of three light to get down there. To fight the lit, uh, Lilb the Fighter, it's 12. Do I have 12? 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12. I do. Just enough. 11, 12. Okay. 12 to fight them is 3 wounds. 1 for the room and 2 for the fighter themselves. 6 XP. 2 treasure cards. One treasure card is the hero's ring. Second treasure card is I may uh, level a hero ignoring its cost. Treasure cache. And we'll level this level zero hero to a level one. Oxwood, I guess. And then Gorlander says, spoils, if wielding a weapon, put him on top of my deck. He was wielding a weapon. He goes on top of my deck, which is really, really cool. It bounces me here. Um, I have to discard a random gear token after moving to this room. Um, I only have one gear token left, and it's a potion, so that's the one. And it is now Elfremia, Elfrenia the Ranger. Oh, man. Okay. So we draw six more. One, two, no, we draw five more. Three, four, five, because I'm wounded. Hopefully not for long, and it's not, because I think I can take him. And I will take him. First, 
Wandering hero, wandering healer. Heal one wound to gain one arcane power. Silverhelm. Uh, oh, well, let's play Gorlander first with a hammer. Then play Silverhelm, giving him plus two back. So he's a 10 again. And healing another wound. And another Silverhelm to heal another wound. I'm fully healed, which is nice. I'm going to fight this spider here that's nine. I am three. Uh, four, five, six, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I'm, I'm a lot. So six XP, two wounds. Six XP, wounds. And a bread token. Gets rid of this. Or cankerous spider. Discarding all of these. Cankerous spider just deals extra um, festering wounds. No fun. Okay, five cards. Oh, Gorlander was wielding a weapon. He goes back on top of my deck. So he's that. Okay. That will be there. Let's see what I do. Okay. Well, since I want to keep getting Gorlander, I'm going to play him with a short bow. And then another Gorlander doesn't have a weapon. Regular old Hawkswood. Silverhelm. Kill a wound. Give this Gorlander plus two attack. So I'm six, eight. Eight and eight is 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 is more than enough. One regular wound and two festering plus six experience. Six XP. Um, two festering wounds. Yuck. And a regular wound. Yuck. Keeping me down to five cards. Orange key. Okay. That's three out of the four keys. We know the fourth key is down here. So what has to happen is I have to keep going down here to fight until I find one of the three keys that's in that deck. Orlander goes on top of my deck because it was wielding a weapon. Drawing only five. Him being one of them. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I do have the light to do it. Thank you, Hawkswood. Whew. Hawkswood has two light built in. Destroy two gear tokens. I don't have two gear tokens. I have Gorlander. No, I have, yes, Gorlander. Then I have Silverhelm, which lets me heal a wound. I'm going to need it because I'm about to take three. Short bow here. And the magic hammer on Gorlander. So three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, six is 14, 17, 19. I'm going to move here. I have two light from Oxwood, the level three rogue. Plus two resistance for each of my human heroes, which Gorlander is, but I'm way above nine to kill that thing. I get six XP. Three wounds again. That takes my, my hand down to four. I'm really hurting. But two treasure cards. One is the Rod of Teleportation. Place your champion in any dungeon room. That's fair. Um, and then the second one, Protection from Wounds. It's a spell. Uh, do not gain wounds from monsters. If I have a cleric or wizards, do not gain wounds from dungeon rooms either. Okay. Um... I got my 6 XP already, so this thing is gone. Bumps me here. I, have, I do have a rogue, so I don't have to discard my food token. 
Bank the rogue. Okay, I have spoils. I could buy a gear token, uh, which I wish to do. Three, four, five. I wish to buy a health potion. His spoils is put him on top of my deck because he had a weapon. Hey, okay, what? If I can keep, if I can keep this up, be doing all right. We're at fifty. Uh, yeah, We're just over the hour mark. So I can see now that 40 minutes is not enough. Oh, one, two, three, four. I don't think I can do this with four cards, though. But never underestimate Gorlander. That guy's nuts. Oh, I don't have the light. That's the problem. I don't have two light to enter this room. So it's going to be <clears throat> a village turn. I'm going to go to the bazaar, which again, it's up here, those spots. I'm going to buy a lantern. So I have two, three, have three to spend. Oh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I have three to spend. I'm going to buy a lantern. Use my healing potion to heal one. I'm in the village. I'll heal one just for being in the village. Um, that's all my money. I'm going to upgrade another level three Gorlander. Do I have them both? There are no more Gorlanders. Okay. Can't do that. Um, so now... The boots of speed let me, after completing this, I can do a dungeon phase. I'm going to go into the dungeon. <clears throat> I'm going to go fight this kobold shaman. He's a six, seven. He's a seven. Um, I'm ten with Gorlander here, plus this. Let's defeat him for a couple of reasons. One, I get two XP and a health potion and a bread token. Health potion, bread token, and two XP. Really worried about, well, the XP is victory points, but I want to thin this deck out and hopefully bring these tougher monsters up higher. Okay. But my reason I did that is if he's equipped with a weapon, he goes on top of my deck. I'm going to keep him there as long as I can. Here goes. One, two, three, four, five. I'll stay in the dungeon. Oh, he doesn't have a weapon. Realm, another level three. Yep. Okay. Okay, village phase it is. Um, going to be bizarre again. Silver Helm heals a wound. And heal another for being in the village. Wandering healer would heal a wound. Gorlander does nothing. Hero's Ring does me not a whole lot this round. Fester oh, play the Festering Wound. Then play him to heal a wound. Then heal one from the... There we go. Got all my wounds healed. I have two to spend, which only gives me a bread token. But I can level up this level two Silver Helm for four XP. Level three, Silver Helm. Which is nice. But no weapon for Gorlander, he goes away. What a bummer. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. Oxwood has some light. Oxwood has some light. 
Okay, let's go into the dungeon. Festering wound. Oxwood. Thunderstone shard. If I have a wound, draw a card. Thunderstone shard. If I have a wound, draw a card. Um, silver helm. I may heal one or more, one or two wounds. I'll heal the festering wound. Level two silver helm. Give another hero plus two. Give it to Hawkswood. Hawkswood. I have three light. Um, And then protection from wounds spell. Okay. I think Okay. I'm gonna move through the dungeon here, then here. It says if I move through here, discard a card. Discard Thunderstone Shark. Then that's one light. Two more light. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I say I'm fine. Unless I have a rogue, discard one gear token. Nope. Um, I have a gear. I have a rogue, so I don't have to discard any gear tokens. So Vank the rogue. He's got a nine. I am one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, and I take no wounds, which is nice. So I beat him to a pulp. As I take no wounds from the protection from wounds, I get two tre uh, treasures. I get a guardsman and storm mirror. This lets me get an extra turn. Then I also got five XP. And then it bumps me here, but I have a rogue, so I don't have to lose it. Blue key. That's the fourth key. Here we go. It's time to. Fight Smorga the Queen. Smorga the Queen, you're going down. For my end phase, I draw six. I really wish I had that Gorlander. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is my for my hand. And then I draw six, discarding four, three, four, five, six. So let me look at my hand first. Lots of weapons. Wow. I need heroes. Okay, cool. I got Gorlander. Don't need this. Don't need this. It's my best. What's my best plan of attack here? I think my best plan of attack here is that. Discarding four of the six. All right. Last turn. Nine minutes to go of the extended 40 minutes, uh, mind you. Okay, how do we do this? Well, it's going to be Gorlander, of course. Gorlander is going to wield... This hammer. And we're going to have Hawkswood. Hawkswood is going to equip this bow. And we're going to have Silver Helm. It's going to give Hawkswood plus two skill himself this hammer. Three. The Hawks would have five skill. I'm going to discard a bread token for seven skill. And now I have seven skill to equip both of these. If the, hero, here, if the wielding hero is wielding another weapon, draw one card. The hammer. I'm going to spend two more bread tokens to give 
silver helm, four more to equip that hammer, and a lantern for good measure. Total. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Um, before battle, discard one card for each wound I have. I have none. 19 to 8, that beats it by 11. If you defeat a guardian, it's one thunderstone or one XP per guardian key. So I'll take 5, put back 1. But then in the rules, I learned I destroyed Smorga. That's no question. I learned that when I destroy them, it's equal to half my attack total rounded up. So my attack total again was 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 20, so 10. I get 10 more experience points for my attack total. I take three wounds. I gain a treasure. Uh, get three experience points and destroy this treasure. I'll take five and put two back. And that's going to do it. Timer's at 626, so it took me 40, 76, so an hour and six minutes. An hour and six minutes to get through this. Okay, that's the goal. That's going to wrap it up. Finished an hour and six or so minutes. I tried to do it in 40. It's not happening. But funny enough, the first 40 took a long time to ramp up. The next 26, or 36, 34. The next 34 was all spent just mass thrashing, thrashing. So if I could find a way to speed up the early game and ramp up my, my damage and light production, I think we could do it. 40 minutes? Maybe not. 50, 60? Maybe. So I'll tweak it. Maybe the next time I do it, I'll do 60 minutes and we'll see how that goes. Thanks everybody for watching. If you're on the live stream, I do appreciate it. And as always, we will see you at the next boardroom meeting.